Vice President Joe Biden calls it a major economic development announcement, a more than $600 million investment to create the Integrated Photonics Institute for Manufacturing Innovation in Rochester. Time Warner Cable News reporter Mike Hedin tells us what the project includes. Inside the SUNY Polytech Institute, Vice President Biden said it's only fitting this project be housed in a former Eastman Kodak facility. After all, former Kodak engineers are the ones that initiated the local photonics industry. This is a public-private partnership that includes the federal and state governments, colleges and universities, along with local companies. The Department of Defense is going to invest $110 million over five years, while $500 million will come from a consortium uh, across 20 states, including 55 companies, 35 community colleges, 33 community colleges. 16 nonprofit organizations, 20 universities led by the Research Foundation for the State University of New York. Photonics are used in nearly every part of our daily lives, from cell phones to barcoding. They're also used in medical technology, defense, telecommunications, the internet, and more. Public-private partnership we're established here today to invest in the integrated photonics can help revolutionize the movement of American commerce as well with traffic monitoring and collision monitoring, or excuse me, uh, collision avoidance systems, increased speed and efficiency in transmission of data. The University of Rochester and RIT will play a major role. However, it's not just about Rochester. The $625 million investment is expected to span the entire region. We have partners in this consortium from Alfred University, Cornell University. We got 55 companies around the Finger Lakes, Western New York, upstate area. This is about game, a game changer for our area of Western New York. Government leaders believe the Integrated Photonics Institute will make the Rochester region a mecca for jobs and innovation. The Department of Defense, Departments of Energy recognize that everything they need is being done here and being done with this superb workforce that we have. We sell ourselves. In the end, this could bring thousands and thousands of jobs to the Rochester region. We're now going through the process now of sort of determining who does what, right, and part of the consortium. So there's research, there's prototyping, there's manufacturing and development. So there's a lot of work to be done. Mike Hedin, Time Warner Cable News.